Today I'm going to be tiling a fireplace. Uh, got a brick fireplace, used to have a mantle right here. I don't like the style for what I'm trying to accomplish on the condo, so I'm going to clad the brick in a nicer tile, uh, make it look new and nice. This was done back in 83, so spruce it up a bit. Um, there's a few ways to do this. The ideal thing to do would be to get some uh, wire mesh and screw it in here. Uh, that might give your tile a little extra hold. Um, I tried to do that on my last project and it didn't quite uh, stick as well as I liked. So I found that just getting a nice thick layer of thin set gives you enough grip to hold the tile on there, especially with these larger tiles. Um, that'll be plenty of mortar to hold it to the wall. So um, I've already gone in. I don't have a, a lot of light in here. I don't know if you can see the lines, but uh, I drew my center line and then uh, I laid out the tiles exactly where they're going to go. So I know I'm going to have one, two, three high and three wide with cuts on the end. I'm going to overlay those cuts on both sides. Um, that way when I put uh, the extra tile coming up there, I'll overlay it just under half an inch and uh, that way it'll butt up and make a nice clean joint. Uh, also down here below the tile I'm going to start, I built a little shelf um, that's nice and level and maybe a quarter inch below the lip of this brick. So my first tile is going to rest on that. It'll let it sit. So while it's uh, hanging here, it'll have time to dry nicely. So that's it. We'll get started here. By the way, these are the tiles that I'm going to be putting on there. They're a little heavy. These are two foot by two foot, but be sure and measure. Uh, they are actually 23 and 5 eighths inches. So if you think you're going to center it by getting 12 inches, you'll be off by at least a quarter inch. Okay, so I'm going to be cutting this tile. I've measured it out so that the line is exactly 15 inches. So I'm going to cut to the left of the line to make sure and keep my piece exactly 15 inches. Since this tile is longer than my table saw bed, I have to do a little bit of uh, maneuvering to make sure it's square. I'm going to use a square underneath and I can use that to make sure that I keep a nice square on this line and then it falls it straight down. Okay, we got those two tiles cut, ready to get going.
Here's what the finished product looks like. You can see that I brought the tile around the outside here. This fireplace looks a lot nicer than when we started. So last night it got a little dark. I don't have any light fixtures in here so we had to stop. Once we get some grout on here, it's going to look really nice. Show you some of the detail work, so get in there, cover every little bit of brick, makes this look like some columns, bring it around the outside. This front lip overhung here so that this piece could come and die into it. Uh, that gives us that nice uh, finished look. That's it.